Have an interview. You should take like a minute or so. All right, guys. We're going to have uh, FS versus Jace on here. But right before we get into this, this is Edwin the Game Boy here for a little post-game interview. All right. So how, how did you feel like the game against Cranky went? I mean, it was all right, to be honest. Oh, oh is it, can you hear yeah, me now? Okay. Right. okay. So yeah, I mean, it was, it was just okay. I mean, it was just okay. Yeah. Uh, your your edge guarding was really on point against uh, against uh, his wolf, especially on on Kalos. Do you feel like that's a a better stage for that matchup, or is there like is it like a matchup thing, or it's, it's just like it's an more edge guard neutral? Thing? No, it's more neutral. I, I I just play Kalos because it's it's a lot more neutral. Okay. That way, like, because Wolf and Mario go like even pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And so so do you just feel like Mario has a good like uh, edge guarding game against Wolf? Yeah, because okay. you can you can easily you know gimp them out, sure. yeah, which happened definitely. twice. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, 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 definitely. But uh, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah, you got it with a few like really like kind of hard reads, like a few like really good like smash attacks. Was like, were you like kind of freaking out, or like was it in your mind to ha kind of have patience and, and kind of um, uh, just have patience is basically what what uh, what now I'm going to do is <laughs> instead of actually like. Uh, what's call it? Like playing aggressive. Wow, this what is I'm a bloodbath, bath, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what in the world? Yeah, oh. dude. All right. Yo, not FS... Even a, not even a minute in, but okay. <laughs> yeah. And FS is actually, uh, winning it right now. Against Jason and Luigi. Uh-huh. Uh, but... In all honesty, it, it was yeah, it was a good game. Yeah. I mean, players. you played well, and you know, I feel like that's gonna be good for both of you guys to yeah. watch back and get I really to, valuable. I, I have to play against Faster right now, so I'm actually kind of excited for this. Unfortunate. No, no, oh, no, it's not really? even okay. No, 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 because you see, the thing is, you see, the thing is, <laughs> it's like <laughs> the thing is, is that I mean, I might, I might have the strat now. But okay. it's it, it totally depends on how I play, you know. I, I, I. Edwin the Game Boy. Yeah. What is your secret strat for a pastor? Uh, well, you see, then it would be a secret now, would it? Okay. Yeah. yeah, especially if he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's like, he's like, I, I he's like, uh, I'm excited to play against Pastor next, and I, I it was like, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> but but he says he says he has a strat for you, so. Yeah, but you see. Now, all right. Well, I know exactly. Uh, yeah. what FS to taking do. game one there off yeah, of Jason. Jason, big smiles. <laughs> all fifty-two thousand of his yeah, teeth. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Jason smiling. Look at him. Look, Look at that. Him. All right. Well, that was a pretty good game one. Uh, round two, though. I wonder. What, ooh, all right. Jason's actually going Meta Knight yeah. against. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the, uh, the the inside. You're more than welcome to help me commentate this. Yeah. Like. Yeah. For sure. Um. Uh. So. Meta Knight versus Greninja. I honestly think that uh, Meta Knight does have the advantage. Really? But yeah. Well, because he has a lot more. Uh, he, he he can like basically get you off the stage more. Okay, but check this out. In my so this is my way of thinking about this. Greninja is as fast, if not faster. That's true. He has a projectile which he which uh, Meta, oh, Meta Knight range. Doesn't. Yeah. Uh, and also, um, a lot of, uh, they're not like disjointed, but like a lot of um, Greninja's hitboxes are kind of big, where uh, Meta Knights are kind of like stumpy. So if technically, if two computers were playing optimally, Greninja would have the advantage because his hitboxes are, are like like longer, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. So, well, you see, but the thing is, in is theory. that like, yeah. But the thing is, is that like, again, if you get hit with, or you're in range of Meta Knight's hip, like hitboxes, yeah. like, it could do a lot of damage. Yes, threaten area, right. And then not only that, if uh, Jason follows uh, FS's DI, sure, he, he can get that up, up air, up air, up air, up air. But by the air. same token, FS has combos for himself. And, oh yeah. Uh, oh, Jason hit him with that young Ooh, up okay. B. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah, interesting way to think about it for sure. Yeah. Um, Yo, but honestly, uh, if anything, you see, the thing about FS, too. Oh, you see? There you go. Up airs. Back? Uh -oh. Okay, you got it back here. Yeah, this is kind of what you're talking about where... No, I know. Um, Take over for me. Yeah. All right. Well, All I right, gotta yeah, go. It's okay. Yeah, okay. Good luck, bro. Thank, thank you for uh, the insight. You don't have to if you don't want to, bro. All right, for sure. Cool, cool. All right, guys. This is our fourth guest we're having on the stream tonight. This is, uh, you love him, you know him. He's your favorite boy. 
Uh, Mr. L himself, Tree. Mr. L. Oh, though. Oh, hey guys, how you guys doing? Oh, hey, good to see you guys on this. For those joining us right now, it's Tree Dog. Down smash. <laughs> yeah, these uh, the FS and Jason, especially the last game, was super quick. It was like a crazy bloodbath, and they just been going like at it back and forth pretty much. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. I like that. Where did Jason go previous match though? He went Mario. Or he uh, went he, no, he went Luigi. Oh. Okay, so me and Edwin were were talking about this. Who do you feel like, just character-wise, has the advantage in this matchup? Uh, Meta Knight. Really? Yeah, well, Meta Knight, Meta Knight because I mean, as light as he is, though, he has the Gimp feature, the quickness off stage, and a lot of his moves are much safer than than uh, Greninja is on, on average. But wouldn't like the, Greninja's like longer range benefit him more? There's not much range on it, stuff like that. When you get cheated out like that for longer, Longer durations because a lot of your attacks consist on that, like recovery wise. That takes a lot of lag on that. Okay. All right. Maybe I'm just wrong because I was saying Greninja because he's as fast, if not faster, has good uh, longer hitbox and this projectile, which Ben Knight does not. So for those reasons, I was thinking that Greninja would have the. Uh, it, it could be a hit or miss. It could be a hit or miss situation just because Meta Knight is uh, because they're both combo. Accurate. They're co both a lot more combo based, being quick sure. as they as quick as they get because right. they have to get close to each other. But it's more like who can get the read first at times too, though, because Greninja can obviously charge up sure, sure it can though. But you be able to be able to catch that. But also with uh, with Meta Knight being as more mo mo mobile in the air, he can just keep hopping over because okay. he's gonna have to pause like that. Uh, Meta Knight also has cape, so if there's any charge feature behind that, he can just in cape come up right behind him with a smash attack. You know, what I mean, I there's see. just there's just so much okay. different techniques that that. Uh, can critique the match and how you can change up scenarios like that because like Meta Knight like I said it's a lot more faster on mobility wise. So so here's a change up now. This is we're going Ice Climbers versus Shizum. Yeah. Ice Climbers can technically win this match setup, but that also depends on how Meta Knight wants to face it because Meta Knight has to be as fast as he possibly can to try to separate them, get one of their features and see how they go like that. Can't let uh Icy charge up, can't let him do anything. They have he has to keep him in the air as best as possible, don't let him touch the ground. Yeah. Split yeah. him up, kind of keep him apart. The hyper yeah. advantage state of, of only one IC. So this is where the Gimp feature comes in right now because you're trying to figure out what's going to happen. So right here, we go Londo. Here's the ice feature right there and the back air coming in. Already chasing out the stock though. Like Ices can do it if he stays grounded long enough, but if Meta Knight gets the advantage to be able to chase him off stage and take him off, it's going to be almost... It's gonna be a uh, better nice game on this one. It just depends on how the play style goes in. Yeah, that makes sense. Big thing with this one because FS likes to use the ice to be able to wall out of opponents, stuff like that. Better Knight has cape just yeah, like that cape. to be able to yeah. space like that. Like so yeah, it's exactly. all how you want to face it on fun. For sure. It's oh, a good thing. Things. It's it's a good thing the way he charges up the, the forward smash on that because if the ice if the ice wall challenges it, that means he can just get off of it real quick and pack up the okay. anything touches. For sure, for sure. Yeah, these D-Sings are gross. Jeez. Yep, there's the cape you're talking about. Alright, yeah, maybe I was vastly underestimating cape, but uh yeah, no, it's just it's just one of those scenarios that it gets you in and out of setups, match like that. Like I said, if any wall features comes in though, it's for, it's just him trying to chase it off though. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I guess I guess that that, that is a pretty good move. Like come to think of it, like not too many characters have something like that. No, see how he chases off like that too, he was able to do it because he was able yeah. to challenge them off stage. Good knowledge. Okay, uh, Jason doing the, the, the Jason whiff there. <laughs> he was trying to get the outside, like, trying to get the quick read like that, but nice. there it goes Getting again. Though, if he catches him, if he catches him at the biggest disadvantage like that, Cape can automatically just chase him off. That that's why FS has to be very careful when he tries yeah. to challenge the aim like that. Yeah, you see FS uh, kind of uh, adapting his gameplay to be kind of a little bit more defensive here. But again, the, the Cape you can just go behind you, so you really have to really have to always kind of maybe be dash dancing or like some form of that. Oh, fully charged down. What? Two of them. Unreal. Okay, yeah, four smash. All right, 64% FS can still can, can still uh, take this. Definitely has a chance. We're gonna see Jason splitting them up. This is not where Icy's want to be. They are together, so they should be able to uh, be. Goes for the side B. That was actually kind of risky there. Again, does it and gets punished for it. Jason gonna take the set and game three. Yeah, see, that's a different, just like those different advantages. Like that's like yeah, it's I a hit of this situation. But the cape comes at the best advantage because he, sure. he can punish those small features a sure. lot of the time to get advantage. It was different though, if he had desync though and he tried walling out the ice on both sides, like he did one side and then to one side, that would have been a different story. But I mean, it's just how you want to chase on the game though, you know? Right.